Well, these are. Uh huh. Oh, you want me to? Okay. Well. Oh, let's. Oh, we read first. Okay. We are in the personal mysteries faith. Uh, what else it says? We are all entitled to explore and experience our own personal mysteries of faith. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the nine women, slave time, f freedom folk swamp town with the Black Hogwarts College being built over it and portal door time traveling stuff and the, the nine men who uh, can travel during slave time and collect the bones and I like all of that kind of stuff but I guess the mysteries of it all is is about um, I don't know what's going on in there <laughs> what's going on what the fuck is going on in there mm -hmm. <laughs> Chosen to experience the shadow sides. Mm -hmm. That's where all the shadows are being addressed in everything that you do. I know it seems like it's taking a very long time. Initiation process. <laughs> I suppose it really is because um, it's kind of strange when a Gemini who was just destined to um, let's say. <laughs> and uh, a Gemini finds themselves alone in the process of uh, this journey. You know, I'm sure it's strange. And then it's so many people who are, um, how to say it? Well, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's all so strange, isn't it? I'd say it's okay. strange. Uh -huh. Keep on.
next speaker of the House said about what that committee has now accomplished and Hillary Clinton's fiery response. And she's not the only one talking tonight. Former President Bill Clinton back in the game as well. ABC's Cecilia Vega on the campaign trail. Tonight, more than 6,000 new emails from Hillary Clinton's private account made public. But now hundreds of those emails stored on her home server when she was Secretary of State deemed so sensitive they've been marked classified. The House committee that brought the email controversy to light back in the spotlight once again. The Republican congressman hoping to replace Speaker John Boehner suggesting on Fox News that the bipartisan investigation into Benghazi is behind Clinton's sagging poll numbers. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. Why? Because she's untrustable. But no one would have known any of that had happened. Oh, Mrs. T.C., I thought you wasn't into politics. I thought that wasn't uh, going to be part of the uh, the politics. What is, I don't understand. I don't understand, Mrs. T.C. I don't understand. I feel like it does a great disservice. Well, it's some names that are coming up. Listen, you know. One, two, three, hit it. I've got an overactive imagination. I've got an overactive imagination. I've got an overactive imagination. My overactive imagination is always doing something strange. It's always bringing me strange individuals. It's always, yep, yep, yep. It's always doing something strange. It's always doing something that is pertaining to the strangeness that we live in. That's my overactive imagination. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say it. You're an outcast. <laughs>